Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. I'm going to be working till 5 p.m. today. If anybody wants to come down and visit me at the shop at the Merit Toys and Games, 1930 at Colchina, I'll be there pretty much all day uh, till 5 o'clock. Then I'm going to go home and fly a drone with my son and have some fun. Ah, what else is going on, guys? Tonight, Mike in the Night, 9 p.m. Western Seaborg time. Don't forget to join me, guys. A lot of people don't even know that this uh, Mike in the Night exists. A lot of people would tune into it. They're like, I, I don't know. And then I, and then I have uh, a friend visiting me, a viewer of the channel who was now my friend, uh, visiting and did watch the um, the Mike in the Night with the Collins. He's like, holy crap. I didn't know that you did this. I know you make videos, but I didn't think you have a live stream with people calling in and stuff. And... Uh, and uh, it's, it's uh, you know, it's just really good. It's really, the production's there. It looks good. It looks, uh, you know, like, yeah, you know, it's like people are not getting notifications, which is fine. And it's something we need to work around. And that's why I ask people for the minimum donation of sharing a video. If you want to donate to my channel or our channel or our cause or our discussion, and we're going to keep it at a point where we're not going to get ourselves shut down, right? We're going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to keep it legal. We're going to keep it uh, above board and we're going to keep it like YouTube policies and stuff. We're not going to, you know, I read over some policies and agreements and stuff with um, with YouTube and stuff. So, um, yeah, um, what's allowed, what isn't allowed. So this way we could keep everything going until they decide, well, now you're pushing this other near or like they could decide what they want right in the end right because it is a private company but they're they're acting as publishers now so i don't know guys it's i don't know so um middle east i'm, I'm really concerned okay guys bitcoin fresh new highs yes i've been following bitcoin guys uh gold's fresh new highs uh just uh past 1400 us it's saturday though so i don't know what where, where things are sitting at we'll wait till monday morning when the market's open but but I'm saying gold, all fresh new highs. Everybody's jumping ship on the U.S. dollar. Uh, especially a lot of countries want to jump off the petrodollar. China being one, and so is um, what's the other one? Uh, Russia and uh, Venezuela, and all these countries are jumping the petrodollar. So uh, the United States, what they need to do is get back to the 1940s, 50s, and 60s standards and start really building up, creating jobs, creating. Um, uh, producing and, and and bringing jobs home. This is going to save. It, it's not going to save for a huge collapse, but it, it, it will cushion it. It will create an aggregation to cushion the collapse a little bit better. People knowing that they have a job to go to the next day, you know. But we'll see what happens. I mean, tonight, guys, Mike of the Night is going to be very special. It's going to be about, uh, it's a very important topic. So we're going to be discussing where did it all go wrong. We'd like to know. You're going to call in or you're going to comment in the comment section or you're going to send links or whatever. We're going to discuss where it all went wrong. Where it all went wrong. And, um... Oh, they got the lumber show. Like, they're cutting, like, wood and... Like, uh, like a lumber show. They got these huge logs and they're cutting, cutting through it and there in the park. I think it's a show they do every year here uh, in Merritt. There's quite a few people there. Um, yeah, where did it all go wrong, guys? Everyone, was it? Is it the banking system? Is it our governments? Is it the, um, the, the mainstream media? It's got to be one. You can't have five. It's got to be one thing. Where did it all go wrong for you personally? And where did it all, if, if something went wrong in your life, where did it all go wrong for you? Where did it all go wrong for, um, you know, um, humanity. I think uh, stopping the whole space exploration and colonization of, of space. Uh, very upset with that. We expected a lot of things. When I was a kid, we expected so much for the year 2000. Because I was born in 78, right? So 78, uh, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. So when I was five, six years old, all we talked about was flying cars in the year 2000. And that was like in 85, 84, 85, 86, 87. Everybody talked about flying cars in the year 2000. Everybody will be in a flying car. 
never happened. They they probably do have flying cars and they they're around, but they're not they're not, you know. But no one expected such bad driving, like you know. It, it was different. No, people didn't expect such bad driving. That's you know. So yeah, Mike and the Nights and Nights. Where did it all go wrong? I want my friends from New Zealand to call in. I got a couple of friends from Australia that might call in tonight. Uh, Toronto, California. Where did it all go wrong? Was it, um, is it Hollywood rejecting, uh, uh, is it the banks? Is it our governance? Remember, we vote these people in, right? Is it, um, devaluation? Is it, is it? In 1972, when we were unpegged off the gold standard, was it? Uh, I mean, we could go on for hours about this, but I want one, one from you guys tonight. I want one, one reason why you think, and then if you have a reason why it went wrong in your life, whether it be uh, addiction, uh, something that went wrong in your life, you know, and you know. And you've gotten better, or you've 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 won, or you've succeeded. Whether it is um, uh, relationship problems, marriage problems, dating issues, uh, work uh, drama at work, like whatever it is, guys. I want. Well, let's talk about it tonight on Mike in the Night. I got I got cash here. Hold on a sec. I got change here. I usually put my change here in the side door because it's hard to see from the window. But if I put it in the cup holder there, somebody will break the window and steal it. So it's, I would rather give them $10 than break my window because it's such a, such a hassle to replace a window on a car. Mm, you can't make windows for cars at home yet. Maybe in 10 years we might be able to. So what else do you see, what else do you, do you guys see happening, you know? Mike in the night. I'm just trying to think of other topics we could talk about potentially or what we could uh, bring to light, what we could uh, address. You know, I got a couple of cool topics for the future. We're going we're gonna to do some good mics in the nights in the future. But where did it all go wrong? But people are saying, Mike, you need to talk about uh, you need to talk about what's happening uh, with Iran and the U.S. and the U.S. backing down and blah blah blah. Extra large dark roast coffee with one cream. Thank you. Because everything that's happened before is leading up to where we are now. Does that make sense to you guys? Everything that's happening is leading up to what we're happening. What's happening today? What built up? What was the building? What was the driving force? Was the Vietnam War? Was it the uh, Nixon administration? Well, the Nixon, I think it was the Nixon administration did a lot of crap too, right? I think that they, they depegged, was it 72? They deregulized, uh, de the deregulization of banks. Was it, was it the Nixon administration, guys? Comment below. I can't remember if it was, uh, Richard Milhouse Nixon. I'm not sure if it was him. I think it was him. Interesting. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah, I had someone visit me uh, yesterday, and it, it really made my day, you know? Then I had someone else visit me from Arizona, and that made my day, like, towards the evening. Really making my day, you know? A lot of people there for me. Um, my dad. My dad's, my dad's in the hospital still, so... I'll be spending the entire day with him tomorrow, Sunday. I might go up and see him again Monday by myself and leave the kids at home and uh, spend the day with my parents. Yeah. Yeah, he's having problems digesting food, so they're going to do more tests today. Uh, they got the results back from the uh, doctors. Uh, the doctor, the biopsy results came back, but they want to test, they want to... They, the doctor's going to talk to my mom on, on Monday. And I'm like, 
Interesting. Okay. So I think if it's something super serious, if it's something very serious, I honestly think that it would be, uh, they would, they would tell us immediately and get us to sign papers and to what, do whatever they have to do. So I, yeah, thank you. Uh, 35 cents. Oh, 35. I'm sorry. I got it here. Here you go. Yep. It went up. It's 235. It used to be 219. Wow. Wow. The price of coffee went up again. I remember it used to be 209, then 219, because I used to give $2 and a quarter. Now it's 235 for a coffee. Yeah, I might start making my own coffee at home. It's not that it's expensive. It's just... But I like doing morning coffee with you guys. I like driving up the hill. It's the only driving I do is just to get coffee. And that's it. That's my day right there. And the drive home from my store is like a three-minute drive, right? But just just absolute gorgeous day out there, you know? Yeah, this whole, this whole Iran and stuff, this is going to happen, guys. I don't know what they're planning, and I don't want to. And I don't. And I don't want to pretend that I know because there's just too many underlying things in the gover government, governmental levels, right? And most of it is uh, departmental, departmentalization, 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 where a lot of people doing or working for the government are not sure what they're doing. So you have one hand doesn't do what doesn't know what the other hand's doing. So that's that's a big key player in government role, right? So so it's very tough to kind of pinpoint. It's so easy to point the finger and kind of throw things out there, but very easy, but ah, look, Rolling Page is giving that a $10,000 cash offer. So all the uh, uh, commercial buildings in my, on my, um, pretty much the entire block sold. Uh, except the Legion beside me and except the, uh, the laundromats. The laundromat wants a ridiculous amount of money. Like, I mean, like not even a foreign investor would buy it. It's, it's too expensive. They want way too much money for it. Like you could buy 10 laundromats in the States for what he wants for that one. So... It's very interesting uh, how my small town now is being affected by foreign investing. So it's uh, the guy that the, the guy that bought the building actually uh, uh, came in the other day. He came in, took a look around, took some notes, and walked right out, and uh, didn't say much to me. But uh, I'll get my stuff out of there. I promise. I'll get my stuff out. I promise. By the end of July, I got the whole town. I, I keep receiving calls like every five, ten minutes from people telling me that they want to um, uh, donate some time and, and help move the shop and paint. I just need somebody to help me cut the cut the cut the ceiling, cut the corners uh, for painting. I, I don't want to. I hate cutting. I hate. I hate. Guys, I hate cutting. I don't want to cut. I don't mind plastering, sanding. I don't mind doing everything but cutting. I just got this thing for cutting. I don't know why. Cutting corners and, and you know. But I'm going to yank the baseboards off and I'm going to, we're going to do a good job there. We're going to make sure we do this thing right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a one-time move. I'm going to throw down some flooring. It's going to cost me a couple of hundred bucks. Flooring is so cheap now. It's less than like, like a buck a square foot. So pick up some really good uh, farmer's market guys it's going on right now lots of stuff in the farmer's market here that's going to be interesting I'll take you guys to the farmer's market here and give you guys a tour of uh, where me and Rose where we where we usually buy our vegetables I think that's something for you guys uh, I want to show you guys how that works right how we've been doing it with the whole vegetable thing buying natural vegetables jams um, you know homemade stuff really good stuff too but, uh, yeah it's been
better than what you get at stores, right? Get stores, you don't even know what the heck's going on, especially when when the crap is mass produced. Man, when you got stuff that that's mass produced, it's like yeah, uh, unpredictable. But tonight, Mike in the night, I'm so excited to go live tonight. Man, I can't wait. I love doing this show, Mike in the night, and then uh, trends in the housing market on Wednesday nights. Uh, if you guys want to talk about uh, what's happening in your neck of the woods and housing and money laundering and there's so much in the housing market it's because it's it's such a big player to prop our GDP right it's such a big player to to help grow our country but they depended they should only put 10 10 they should have put 10 or 15 percent in housing stock and that's it they should have focused on minerals they should have focused on other more important things if they took that money that they invested into housing and put it into production oh my god there wouldn't be enough humans on the earth to um, to um, to work if everything was dumped into production and invested in human uh, human capital human labor anyways guys I'm here at the shop don't forget to uh, join me tonight I might do a video through the day thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the comments later okay add me on Skype Mike Martins 1980 Wow Olds for Oldsmobile 442 69. Wow. I love small towns for that. Thanks for watching.